Hey, people. So, uh, I want to talk about the Antichrist blaspheming uh, God's tabernacle, is what the scripture in Revelation talks about. And uh, in the book of Daniel, it tells us about this time of trouble that would, would uh, come to be. That was would be, the, there was never a time of trouble such as uh, what this scripture is talking about. And I believe this is the period that we're going into. And if you look around and if you, uh, you count, you know, if you estimate, if you, if you have any biblical understanding and, and, uh, wisdom and insight, you should be able to tell that the time that we're in right now is this is the time that we're going into. And, uh, many people have, are scoffing and, and doubting, and that's not a, a good place to be in. And you really want to think more deeply about these things and take a better look at things at the point we're at right now, if that's where you're standing. But, um, you know, so Daniel correlates with the book of Revelation and it told us that, uh, there will be a time of trouble such as never was before. And, uh, he says that there would be a period of uh, 1290 days there in verse 11. And so this correlates with the book of Revelation. That's about 42 months. And, uh, and so in, in verse 5 here in Revelation, it says that uh, there was a, a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies, was, and power was given unto him, right? The Antichrist. Forty and two months, right? Three and a half years. And he opened, opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. So this world leader is going to come on the scene and there's going to be a global government that is going to uh, cover the whole flat earth. And uh, this leader is going to blaspheme the Most High God, right? who wrote the Bible, who authored the Bible, and his tabernacle. So what is his tabernacle? Well, other scriptures make mention of this. And uh, God said in Ezekiel 37 that he would, uh, he, I will place them and multiply them, and I will set my sanctuary in the midst of them forever. Okay, so my tabernacle also shall be with them. Yea, I will be their God, and they shall be my people. And the heathen shall know that I, the Lord, do sanctify Israel, and my sanctuary, sanctuary shall be in the midst of them forever. So, what is this talking about? He's saying he's going to place his tabernacle uh, in the midst of us, right? And the heathen would know it. David, this is something that has actually happened, uh, I don't know exactly how many, but numerous times in the past, at certain points in time, when the wickedness on earth uh, was exceeding uh, you know, in the time of trouble, David spoke about it here in Psalm 27. You know, when the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host should encamp against me, my heart should not fear. Though a war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord that I will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall uh, set me upon a rock, and now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about. Okay, therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. So, there's a little bit more to the clue here, right? Now, um, you know, what is this talking about? So, this, the Antichrist is going to blaspheme God's name and his tabernacle. But he said he would set it among the heathen. And so... Uh, the, the book of uh, Ezekiel 37 and 38, I'm sorry, 38 and 39, talks about the Gog and Magog War. And this is actually when God will set his tabernacle among men. And he said his name would no longer be profaned among the heathen. And that he would magnify himself in this war that... Uh, all the heathen round about on, on the on the earth would know who he is. He would be sanctified in this war. as because this is when he sets his, his tabernacle uh, here on earth, right? And this is basically when he he uh, he gives us his people, right? Hit their glorified bodies. And anybody that fights against that is going to be destroyed. Okay, but here it is right here. It says that... Uh, 
that he would be sanctified in the sight of many nations. Then shall they know that I am the Lord their God, which caused them to be led into captivity among the heathen. Neither will I have my face anymore for them, for I have poured out my spirit upon the house of Israel, saith the Lord. So this outpouring of the spirit is actually when he sets his, his tabernacle among men. And so Revelation 7, it tells us that, uh, you know, before this war starts, or right before all these things start, that uh, he says, hurt, verse 3, Hurt not the trees, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in, our fore in their forehead. So then there's 144,000 of those that are sealed, will be sealed, um, you know, of the children of Israel, man and woman. And, uh, these are going to be the ministers on the earth. And this is what actually for the 42 months uh, of the tribulation that the, the antichrist is going to blaspheme God's tabernacle. These are his people. He's going to be blaspheming God's people, his children here on earth. And, uh, many people, the, the people that reject the Lord are going to worship the Antichrist and actually fight against God's kingdom. And this is actually, this is judgment on them. And God is going to allow this to happen um, because they've rejected him and rejected truth and didn't, and, and chosen lies over truth. And so, um, I just want to make that clear, right? Is that scripture, it, it, it tells us all these things, but it's kind of spread out through all, through the whole, uh, the whole, the whole book. It gives us clues here and there. You know, so we just said that they told him to wait till the servants were sealed in their forehead. You know, and look what this says here, right? He prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. He anoints my head with oil and my cup runs over. Okay, and this is just like Psalm 91 too, right? How, how would it be possible for... Uh... A thousand to fall at my side and ten thousand at thy right hand and it not come come nigh me that's only if he sets me in the secret place of his tabernacle that we would be kept safe and he's going to keep his children safe and uh but the, uh, the antichrist is going to be blaspheming god's tabernacle right he's when the lord heals his people and binds up their breaches the hundred forty four thousand he is uh you know the Antichrist is going to be slandering, you know, their sonship and, and everything about them. But the Antichrist is obviously a liar. And, and, uh, it's not hard to see who it is, right? Barack Hussein Obama, abomination, right? We have people in this country that love Obama and think he's such a good person, but they lack judgment is what it is. What, what makes Obama a good person? Cause he gave you a free phone. Right, and he pays. He gives you a, a EBT. No, that doesn't make him a good person. He's destroying the middle class, and uh, you know he rejects our Lord. And he's going to blaspheme His name in His tabernacle. He's an antichrist, Barack Hussein Obama. Right, abomination. He's an abomination. Right, he's he's passed laws. He's made gay marriage okay. He's made, uh, you know, none of it. None of these things that he's done is all right. Okay, he's a war criminal, and he should be tried as that. And uh, God's going to put into a lake of fire, right? In short order from now. And he deserves it for all the evil. He's, look, look at our nation over the last 10 years. It's, it's a mess. It's gradually, it's gotten worse, right? Bush wouldn't know better. None of these people, right? Oh, Trump, if you think Trump's going to save our country, you're in trouble, right? He's not. God's just putting him there to test, to test to see who's really his people. And if you're hoping and trusting a man, you're in trouble. Now is the time to be trusting in the Lord and to be seeking him and to call on to be calling on him because uh no man is going to save the situation that's been done and, and the system's a, it's just a mockery of anybody of any intelligence okay so the antichrist is going to blaspheme his god's children his name and his tabernacle for 42 months will you take heed to understand these things and not to worship this thing the whole world it says will worship him everyone whose names are not written in the book of life so it says, it says in Revelation uh, 13, 8 or 9. And so uh, call upon the Lord, right? Call upon him tonight because I'm telling you, this is it, man. Time's up, you guys. God's given us fair warning, plenty of time. I love you.